What's going on? So today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to properly use the abductor and adductor machine and talk about the differences. So both super beneficial movements to have in your routine. I find they're very, very underrated. But first, uh, basically we're gonna show you how to do the abductor. Abductor is when you're pushing your legs away from your body. Adductor is when you're adding your legs towards your body, okay? So we're gonna be starting with the abductor, which is gonna be focused on that outer glute area, right in here. Um, I think it's something that needs to be included in everyone's routine, whether you use bands, whether you have access to the machine, there's a lot of different variations. So when it comes to proper setup, I have it set up just like this, where basically everything's touching and it's as close as physically possible. I find this way, you're able to get the best range of motion, okay? So starting off, you got everything set up, use like a moderate weight, you know, don't push yourself too hard for the first little bit. You wanna be able to make sure you can control the weight, you get a full range of motion, you can feel the muscles working, I personally like to lean forward a bit. I'm not a fan of going like this. I feel like it's just awkward, but it, that also depends on the machine. Kind of sit forward and then just open your legs up and then bring them back in, okay? Nice and controlled. This machine's awesome, but utilizing small bands, big bands, these things are also great. Just very underrated exercise uh, that needs to be added in your routine, okay? Next up is gonna be abductor. So when it comes down to it, you just grab this little handle wherever it is on your machine open it up as wide as possible, switch her like this so that way your legs can be against here. I usually actually prefer to lower the weight, it's just harder for me to do this exercise. I'm sure a lot of you will feel the same. And the best way to actually get in the machine is to just pretty much go like this. That way you don't have to do any maneuvering after, you're good to go like this, you're already set up. And then you just bring your legs in towards your body, control it. You'll hear no clanking from the machine, we're gonna jump into that for the common mistakes. but. This is kind of how it works, you know, it's very self-explanatory, two great movements, but a lot of times, we don't know how, but there's a lot of mistakes that take place within this. So now we're gonna jump into the uh, three most common mistakes that take place. I find this is probably one of the biggest common mistakes. Um, basically, you guys can be the judge here to see if this is right. So, you know, everything's set up and then... Okay, so planking of the machine is gonna take tension off of the actual muscle groups that you're trying to work. You wanna make sure to control it, Bring it back to that point where it's like one to two inches away from hitting and then all the way out, okay? So no clanking, um, no slamming of the weights. This is more of a controlled movement and that's the common mistake, number one. Hey man, what are you doing? What, is, what does it look like I'm doing, bro? I'm hitting the abductor and I'm freaking texting. What's your issue here? No, I'm kidding. Um, number two common mistake is just honestly, I see this 98% of the time people are using this machine. They're very unfocused and they're always on the phone, okay? So how do you expect to get great results, great contractions, actually focus on the muscle group you're squeezing if you're not focused, okay? So ditch the phone, take it, put it on the ground, put it in your locker, focus on actually getting some great control and you will see five to 10 times the benefits, okay? So ditch the phone once again, you will thank me later and uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Number three, common mistake, is just overcomplication, okay? I'm not saying that doing one of these does not work, okay? It's not what I do in my personal routine. However, I do believe that a lot of times people just need to stick to the staples, focus on what works, focus on actually learning how to do the exercise properly, getting contractions. At the end of the day, this exercise is fantastic, but you have to make sure um, you know, you're know you utilizing the variations that allow you to feel it in specific areas the absolute most, okay? So, and one last bonus tip is for me personally, a common mistake as well as just posture, right? So, um, a lot of times people will do it like this. I find it's just awkward. So you'll see a lot of times either people leaning forward, you can get a bit more glute activation, or even grabbing the machine, which will allow you to even get further glute activation, okay? So just don't overcomplicate it. See, feel it out, whatever works best for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it helps. Add this into your routine, abductor and adductor. Great exercise to utilize one to two times per week, maybe even three times. And make sure to click that first link in the description for our free form guide. You can get on our email list and get a bunch of free, awesome content. And if you are looking for the number one online coaches to help you get results, grow your glutes, uh, lose body weight, um, body fat, and just overall build some more muscle, second link in the description. We look forward to working with you and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.